Check it. If you look closely at this flat panel behind me, there's one thing that you'll notice, but you have to look very closely. You'll notice that this panel has no wires going to it, but yet it's uh, receiving data over HDMI, and all of that's uh, courtesy of Postlink. Yes, it is. This is the world's first wireless HDMI TV. I'm brought to you by Pulselink on our technology embedded into Westinghouse's um, new flat panel display that will be available in the second quarter of this year. So I can certainly see the advantages to this because I had a carpenter just put a staple through an HDMI cable and I've got a part of a wall that has to come down. I've had similar problems as, as I'm hoping thousands and millions of other people have had this problem because that will just make sure that our, our technology is, is successful. But yes, you know, you'll be able to take and put a dongle in your entertainment um, center and be able to wirelessly send everything up to your flat panel display. Um, the only thing that the only wire that'll be going there is going to be your power cord. Everything else will be wireless. So, so this would uh, obviously it's an RF based technology. It's a spread spread spectrum technology as well. Well, it's, it's ultra wideband, which you can kind of think of ultra wideband as spread spectrum on steroids. It's a 1.35 gigabit per second raw rate. We actually deliver between about 500 megabits and one gigabit um, at the application layer with the chipset. Well, so it would be quite robust then as far as other devices that might be going on in, in the home. Absolutely. That's one of the beauties about ultra-wideband. We occupy gigahertz of spectrum, and as a result, any in-band type of interference just averages across the front end of the receiver, and it's uncorrelated noise to us. So is this something that would be available uh, at common consumer outlets, or is this a, a high-end type of uh, product uh, in custom installations? Well, what's, what Westinghouse is planning on doing with this is the second quarter of this year, they're going to be releasing it into their business-to-business -business for, um, you know, going, going into, into prosumer type of applications. But as the volume ramps, their goal is by the second half of this year to put this into the consumer space, and hopefully by the second half around Christmas time next year, you'll be able to walk into Best Buy and buy this. So can you have uh, multiple receivers or is only a single uh, uh, panel? In other words, could you have a panel in... Uh uh, have, have several uh, television panels, displays in the home uh, driven off of a common source? Well, right now, it's, it's a pan technology. The FCC has made ultra-wideband very low power, which means it's got about a 30-foot range. So that, that's a limiting factor on it right now. So if you had two flat screens in a 30-foot range, you'd be in good shape, right? Yeah, you, that, would, that, would be, that would be an acceptable <laughs> way of doing it. Okay. You know, if you had adjoining rooms and you had a little wall in between there, that would work. Yeah, and, and uh, a lot of uh, smaller condos, uh, more compact homes, that might well be possible with the uh, living room on one side, bedroom on the other. Well, exactly. And also another thing we haven't really been displaying here, but the same technology goes over wired media such as coax. So you could actually, any place in the house that you have coax, you can inject this under the coax and pull it out there as well. All right, so you would be able to extend the range uh, from, from that uh, standpoint. Exactly. And a matter of fact, there's another company, Geffen, here that's going to be um, premiering that product here at CES as well. Well, yeah, there's certainly a lot of exciting things uh, going on. I'm glad to hear. Hope you have a good show. Thank you very much.